Oh, Mr. Mortimer, what a surprise to see you. Back from your travels. It's been nigh on a year since we've seen you last. Ah, fleeting visit, I'm afraid, Hawkins. My dear friend, Mr. Walton, seems very keen to reacquaint himself with me this Christmas time. Yes, Mr. Walton, he seems, uh, he seems rather distracted at the moment, sir. Uh, I do hope you... You beg my pardon, sir. Uh, our new member of staff is somewhat uh, lacking in experience. Think nothing of it, Hawkins. I, I'll see myself through. Jeremy, Jeremy, old boy. A Christmas miracle indeed. You have prized yourself from the observatory. Jeremy? Jeremy, old chap? Uh, uh, Two large brandies, please. Jeremy. You see, my... Uh... Alfred. Who are you? I'm well. Uh, although I must confess, I, I'm keen to return to Afghanistan. I hear stories of... I'm glad to hear it. But in truth, I am not well at all. And is, is that the cause of this... This sudden... Perhaps there that there is... Come upon you. Abruptness. Oh, I see what you mean. Please, excuse my manners. It was not my intention to be rude. Oh, please, continue. I have not late. Be plagued. Be plagued? Yes. The word is not ill-chosen. I... Damn you! Get away from me! Something in your eye? You must make allowances for the way that you find me. You, you are my oldest friend. That could ever change. Thank you. Thank you. I too value your friendship more than anything else. Which is why I feel I can share with you, and you only, the events that have led to my being in this condition. I, I, I'm honoured, of course, a bit of upset. What of Eloise? She's always been such a pillar. A few months ago, I became vexed by an old complaint. You may recall my frustrations as one being eternally transfixed to the celestial realm to find that that, of all things, my eyesight was, was never as good as other people's. Even since our school days, my time was beset with countless visits to eye doctors and the like, seeking the answers, the remedy for the faults with my vision. And can some call my cloudy vision the result of Nerve damage, some would say, or others said it was hereditary. Many offered a cause, none offered a solution. At least none that worked. And is that what troubles you now? One day, I was at the old book market in Charles Bonnet Street. You know the one. Actually, was, uh, was it not there you first met Eloise? <laughs> While they are. <laughs> I was about to say something caught my eye. I found a tome, not a, not a meaningless collection of old wives' tales and futile remedies, but it was, of all things, a practical guide. Practical? How so? Instead of concentrating on treating the eye, I was more concerned with exercising it. Where it says, sensible. That book has ruined me!
But you continue to improve? I've become used to my new ability. Why not? The spectroscopy of the stars demands it. I had surmounted an affliction that had blighted my life since birth. I had been granted access to a, a new and a, a better world. Yeah, yeah but uh, surely this is a this was an achievement to be to be celebrating. It was then that it first appeared. It. At first, it was nothing. A dot in the corner of my eye. Something so small I only noticed when it moved, like a tiny piece of grit floating in a corner. I didn't fight. Uh, I used to get those when I woke up. My old nanny used to say, it's a sleeping mat, just rub your eyes and it'll go away. The wisdom of old nannies. How I wish it were true. I see nothing of great worry. But you must restrain from irritating it further and your patron must grant you some time away from your research. Society is expecting another paper forthwith. I'm unable to desist. But it's not just a spot, it's, but it's, it's. I suspect simple rest will be the solution. Fear not, I can prescribe some drops, but you must heed my advice. Sleep will be the cure. Not only did it get bigger, but it took on a new shape. No longer a tiny circle, but something taller. Uh, 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 a man, you say? Pepper in the centre of my vision, always slightly to one side, almost out of vision. A dot, a, a shape that became a man. I can see you do not believe me. On my travels, I've heard stories. Stories? This is no story. It's not one of your traveller's tales, Alfred. It happened to me. I, I take it, therefore, that he, he, he was not gone forever. Alas, dear friend, when I opened my eyes, he was gone. But when I closed them again, there he was again. And nearer this time. I did. He's... You've confided in Eloise, sure. Alas, she. So, 
Whenever I close my eyes, there he is. So, I don't close my eyes. But when you sleep? Sleep. I have not slept in two weeks. Three? I've lost count. That's impossible. I mean, a man must sleep. If he doesn't sleep, he'll... Jerry, Jerry, come with me to art. I am a man in high school. He's mine. <laughs>